28 Biggest Mistakes That Fortnite Has Made The re-releasing of OG and Rare skins is one of the things that split the community in half since you had, well, half happy about it and others who were insanely mad. This started back in 2018 when Fortnite released the Skull Trooper back into the shop and it didn't stop there since they did the same with the Ghoul Trooper and Recon Expert. But Recon Expert owners were insanely mad since they didn't even get an OG variant. Bombo being removed is another massive mistake that Epic made. Yeah, it didn't break the game or anything, but it has a community heartbroken, since tons of YouTubers are making videos wishing they'd bring him back to the game. Then if you'll look at this screenshot, it does seem like Clombo might have died, so it looks like the IOs killed Clombo. Adding the Infinite Blade was also a, probably one of the biggest mistakes that Fortnite ever made. Because this was definitely one of, if not the most overpowered item that Fortnite's ever seen. And I don't think there's one player out there who enjoyed this thing. It was so bad that you had players deleting the game because of this item. To make things worse, planes were added into the game in Season 7 with the Infinity Blade. And all these did was make Season 7 one of the most hated Fortnite seasons of all time. The planes had unlimited fuel and could smash through builds while taking barely any damage. And I don't even want to talk about the machine gun that these things had. While on the topic of vehicles, tanks being added might have also been a mistake. Because in the no building mode, we all know tanks can be pretty OP, since you have some players who love them and others who think they're way too overpowered. But they're not as bad in my opinion. Good thing anything like Marauders isn't in Chapter 3. Because these things got added back in Chapter 2 Season 3, and they were the definition of toxic. Since they would literally chase you around the entire map until you eliminated them, or they eliminated you. And to make matters worse, they spammed stink bombs and RPGs all game. Building being removed was kind of a mistake at the start, because this had some players happy and others insanely mad since they couldn't live without building. Because pros were making tweets about how it was dumb for Fortnite to remove building, but other content creators were glad that they removed it. But good thing they now have an option to play with or without building, I appreciate that. Although the pump getting removed sparked the community up more than the removal of building, which is shocking. Because when they vaulted the pump in Season X and introduced the combat shotgun, this had the community in shambles. The same happened in Chapter 2 Season 3 as well with the charge shotgun. But now players are used to the pump getting vaulted and don't really complain as much anymore. You also have the drum shotgun because this is one of the most complained about shotguns in all of Fortnite. The community has never really been a huge fan of this gun ever since it was introduced in Season 9. And that's because there's nothing you can do when someone's using this in a close range fight against you. Then with builds being removed, well, that just makes it worse. The removal of account merging was also a pretty big mistake that no one really agreed with. Because back in November of 2018, Epic dropped an account merging feature so you could combine two accounts into one. And this is what players dreamed of. But out of nowhere, they decided to put that to an end in 2019. And players were devastated. But I feel like they removed it because scammers took advantage of the feature. Crown wins being removed was also a huge problem. Because we all know, whenever you get a crown win, it adds a point to the emote. But for some reason, Epic decided to reset everyone's crown wins at the start of the season. And players were not happy when they found this out, since players spent weeks grinding in crowns. Season 4 also gave us one of the most hated updates. Because when they added Fort Nightmares, it completely broke the game. Since they made players turn into shadow ghosts when they died instead of sending players back to the lobby, and people hated it. Plus, this was in the default playlist, then these things were way too annoying. Just, just look at this. <laughs> Are you in here? The minigun that was added back in Season 2 was an item that players absolutely hated, because this was really the first overpowered weapon that Fortnite had ever added into the game. At the time when they added it, players barely even knew how to build, but they only made things worse by adding a mythic version of the gun in Chapter 2 Season 2. Boy, it was scary! LMGs also have to be talked about, because these were way worse than miniguns, if you ask me. Because when the LMG was first released, you could spray a hundred bullets straight up without any cooling down time nor reloading. It was a bit much. But good thing Epic doesn't really release this item into the game anymore. Adding Slurpee Swamp in Chapter 2 Season 1 was a mistake. And you might not even believe it. But over at this POI, there was a game-breaking glitch with the healing water that allowed players to get unlimited wins. Because people quickly figured out that you could keep eating and fishing while in the slurp water to get free wins. 
and this completely broke Fortnite. The new henchmen NPCs added in Chapter 2 Season 2 were one of the season's most overpowered and hated features, because they had so much health and these things would even aimbot you out of the sky. And what made these things ten times worse was the loud and toxic music that they had. And even Epic knows these were a mistake. The Dragon Breath also annoyed a lot of players, because this is one of those weapons that players thought was going to be good because of how it looked. What made players hate it, though, was how insanely slow the reload time was. Plus, not only did it set enemies on fire, but it also set you on fire. Epic also didn't know that adding the zero point in Chapter 2 Season 5 would be a mistake. But it was, because you had some players using it to do another infinite win glitch. Because if you kept running into the zero point repeatedly, you would just keep getting free health. Similar to the Slurpee Swamp Unlimited win glitch, the mounted turret was the worst trap that Fortnite ever added. Because I don't know anyone who was a fan of this thing. When players finally found out how to use these things, there was nearly nothing you could do to stop them. But good thing Fortnite vaulted them and doesn't release them into the game anymore. In Season 6, we also had a mistake that was so annoying. Because when they added the Shadow Stones, players found a glitch with them that would have made players invisible for the entire match. And it was so broken since players took advantage of this glitch to rack up free kills and wins. But in Chapter 2 Season 6, they removed snipers and replaced them with bows. But many players were not happy about this especially trick shotters, since it was almost impossible to hit trick shots with the new bows added to the game. But the bows weren't that bad, since you had a lot of players who actually did enjoy using the bows. And now we have Brutes. If there's one item that's worse than the Infinity Blade, it's gotta be these. Because back in Season X, when they added these, it set the community in flames. Because these things were so broken and overpowered that it became a trend for pros to delete their game when they died to one of the Brutes. The Broken Star Wand was also a huge mistake that Fortnite made, because back in Chapter 1, when Epic added this thing into the game, it did 56 damage to players. That's almost three times more than usual. And due to this, Epic temporarily disabled the pickaxe. Smoke grenades also kind of ruined the game, but it would be good if we had them in no building mode. But back in Chapter 1, this was one of the most broken items, since players would do nothing but spam them, and some said they just let you get off a free revive? Stink bombs were pretty broken, since when players used these, you wouldn't even have any time to heal. The return of the Mako Glider is another pretty big mistake that Fortnite made, because this is one of the rarest gliders that got released in the Season Shop back in Chapter 1. But Fortnite made a mistake and accidentally released it into the shop in 2018 for V-Bucks, but quickly removed it once they found out. And ballers being added wasn't a huge mistake, but you had some pros who absolutely hated them since they said that they ruined competitive. Which could be true, because in the final circle you would see like 20 plus ballers just flying around. The primal shotgun was also one of the most overpowered guns, especially the mythic version of this thing, since it almost felt more like an SMG when using it instead of a shotgun. But Epic nerfed it a few times and eventually completely vaulted it, and they replaced it with the recycler, which was even worse. Not hosting a second World Cup is another mistake that Fortnite made, because you have a lot of pros who are still mad that there isn't going to be a second World Cup, but the main reason they're not hosting another one is because of all the recent world events that have been happening. Now watch this video on your screen for good luck. Peace.